So I would like to welcome you all and those who are new to, to Believers Assembly of South Florida. And those who are watching online, I welcome you all. And um, let's uh, the next come to the, the Sunday School program. So um, the, the Sunday School program. So the, there's going to be a reading of the Psalms by Psalms 20. Psalms 23 will be read out now by the Sunday School kids. Captain Josiah. All right, we welcome Josiah and Layla. Song. Go head on a mountain over the hills and everywhere. Go head on a mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Go head on go go head on. Go tell me, go, go tell me. Thank you, Josiah and Leila and gang. All right, next is Gracie's sister for a song. I am going to play a song in Malayalam, but I am going to play a song in English translation. I am going to play a song in 23 and 24. I am going to play a song in Malayalam, but I am going to play a song in Malayalam. That is the song. Jangan tu pelan, seramikir aana, jangan erdia tu aana, tuan tu cenderit illya, satu rough model aana. Yen ne snehi kyan, yen ikus snehi kyan, pran nalgi snehi, coru Yesu matra me. Yen ne snehi kyan, yen ikus snehi kyan, pran nalgi snehi, coru Yesu matra me. Vishwasikyuvan, Pratyasha nalguvan, Jeevan tannu vinde dutta yeshu matrame. Vishwasikyuvan, Pratyasha nalguvan, Jeevan tannu vinde dutta yeshu matrame. Bhuvil yeshu matrame. Yeshu vinva janamo, Nerulad Avan Sagala Pravrtium Vishwasya Mullad Yesu Vinva Janamo Nerulad 
അവൻ സകല പ്രവൃത്തിയും വിശ്വാസ്യമുള്ളത് എൻ മനസ്സു തകർന്നാൽ ഹൃദയം നുറുങ്ങിയാൽ സമീപസ്ഥനായി വരും ആശ്വാസമേകും എൻ മനസ്സു തകർന്നാൽ ഹൃദയം നുറുങ്ങിയാൽ സമീപസ്ഥനായി വരും ആശ്വാസമേകും എന്നെ സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ എനിക്കു സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ പ്രാണൻ നൽകി സ്നേഹിച്ചൊരു യേശു മാത്രമേ എന്നെ സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ എനിക്കു സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ പ്രാണൻ നൽകി സ്നേഹിച്ചൊരു യേശു മാത്രമേ വിശ്വസിക്കുവാൻ പ്രത്യാശ നൽകുവാൻ ജീവൻ തന്നു വീണ്ടെടുത്തൊരേശു മാത്രമേ ഭൂവിലേശു മാത്രമേ ജീവനോടിരുന്നു നിന്നെ സ്തുതിക്കുവാൻ ഒരു ജന്മം മാത്രം ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ ജീവനോടിരുന്നു നിന്നെ സ്തുതിക്കുവാൻ ഒരു ജന്മം മാത്രം ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ എൻ ജീവനായകനെ മരണം വരെയും നന്ദി അർപ്പിച്ചെന്നും സ്തോത്രം പാടിടാം എൻ ജീവനായകനെ മരണം വരെയും നന്ദി അർപ്പിച്ചെന്നും സ്തോത്രം പാടിടാം എന്നെ സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ എനിക്കു സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ പ്രാണൻ നൽകി സ്നേഹിച്ചൊരു യേശു മാത്രമേ എന്നെ സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ എനിക്കു സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ പ്രാണൻ നൽകി സ്നേഹിച്ചൊരു യേശു മാത്രമേ വിശ്വസിക്കുവാൻ പ്രത്യാശ നൽകുവാൻ ജീവൻ തന്നു വീണ്ടെടുത്തൊരേശു മാത്രമേ വിശ്വസിക്കുവാൻ പ്രത്യാശ നൽകുവാൻ ജീവൻ തന്നു വീണ്ടെടുത്തൊരേശു മാത്രമേ ഭൂവിലേശു മാത്രമേ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ഗ്രേസ് സിസ്റ്റർ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് now the next item that is presented by joel is going to present a story and memory verse be have to be every spirit but test the spirits wherever there are of god because many false prophets are going to enter the world but this will be the spirit of god Every spirit that confesses Jesus Christ has come in the flesh of God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not a God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you are clean and now is already in the world. You are our God. Yet the children have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world. The one to speak of the world and the world hears that. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who does not know God does not hear us. But this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We have it. Yes, we have one another. For we have it God. And everyone who has it born of God knows God. You does a yeah, does not know God, but God is yeah. And this year, yeah, God has many friends toward us. The God has said his only because the Son is the world, then may I drove him. If this is yeah, not the real God, but that the yeah was said said to, said to be the propitiation of our sins. Be of it. If God to yeah, this, we also have to give one another. No one has seen God in time. If we have one another, God abides in us, and He shall have been perfected in us. By this we know that He abides in Him, and He in us, because He can know us from the Spirit. And we have seen that this is the first thing that the Son and Savior to will. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in Him, and He in God. 
and we are known to be that the other God has for us, and we are by the other by the God that guided him. Yes, we be perfect among us in this. Let me, let me make the bones in the day of trouble. Because as he is, so I'm in this world. There's no fear yet, but proof your castle fear. Because fear has torn me, but he refused to not be made perfect in love. Yeah, he loved him because he first loved us. No, it's, it, it sounds like so you're gonna hit his brother. He's the I hope. And he does it of his brother who asks me, how can you call me as nonsense? And, and this command that I have from him, and he yes, 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 God, you must have his brother also. No. This happened in Jericho. Welcome. I'm going to read Jesus me Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector, so I think I so I think is he's a ta he's a short man, so he stole all the money from the poor people. So, so he climbed a tree. So, when Jesus got to the tree, he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm going to your house. And when they went to his house, Zacchaeus said, I have changed my mind today. If I cheated anyone, I will pay four times. And Jesus said, Today is official has come to this house. The son of man came to find me ask people to say that you, chapter 19, verse 10, like Zacchaeus, we have to just warn ourselves and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I know, I know Jesus. Bye. Thank you, Joel, for that wonderful memory verse and the story about Zacchaeus. It really touched our hearts. Now the next story is going to be, by, and the memory verse recitation is going to be by Joshua, his brother. Praise the Lord. I'm going to say, say, I'm going to say Ephesians two, and you who made it alive, who were dead in trespasses and sin, in which you once walked according to the course of the world, according to the prince of power of air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among who also conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the deeds. The desires of our flesh and mind that do by nature children of them, just as others. But God, who whose rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. When we are dead in trespassness, he makes the light together by by Christ. For by grace you have been saved. And, made, and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places of Christ Jesus. For by ages to come, he must show exceedingly riches of his, his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace ye have been said, do faith, this is not from itself, it is the good of God. Now from the worst list, anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, could it cry Jesus for good works that, <laughs> that God had prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Therefore, you remember that you want Gentiles in the flesh, but what is on what is called uncircumcision, but what is called circumcision made by flesh by hands. That at that day, you without Christ being aliens from comrades of Israel and strangers from comrades with promise with, without no hope in God in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, who once brought for, who was once brought of four of and and though, and 
nearby the blood of Christ. For he himself is a peace and made us both turn and has broken down the middle of separation. Having abolished in his first the enmity, that is, the law, commandments, contained in ordinances, for creating himself one new man from two, thus making peace. And he might reconsider them both to God, one body to the cause. And and dead to enmity. And he had came preach peace that were far off and those who were near. For do him we both have except to one spirit to the Father. Therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built in the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself, the chief cornerstone, in whom you are also being, being built in inflicted together into a holy temple in the Lord, for you also being built in a f- in dwelling place in God in the Spirit. Jesus, Jesus was starting his journey from Jesus was going to start his journey from Judea to Galilee. There some Jewish people go this way, and Jesus chose Samaria. There he found a city called Sychar. Jesus meet the Samaritan woman. Jesus was tired and hot. There he found a Jacob's well. His his disciples were hungry, so they buy food. And a Samaritan woman came by to get water, and Jesus said, "Give me water." Then the the Samaritan woman questioned her. He said, "Why does a Jewish people talk to me?" And Jesus said, "I know all about you." And I know that you need more love. And the Samaritan woman said, How did you know all about me? And Jesus said, I'm the son of man and and son of God. And I know that God loves you very much, even when you make mistakes. So the Samaritan woman dropped everything, go to the town and tell tell that she found the Messiah. And and the testimony because in that town believed believed in him because of Roman testimony. Jesus is the living water. Whoever drinks the water I'll give him will ne- never die. John four fourteen. We like Samaritan women. She told to the people that she found the Messiah and and the testimony to the people and they turned their hearts to God so like we had to say the gospel to everyone. Thank you. Joshua and Joel is going to sing a song. So they go they already entered into the ministry. Unenokunenyen, 
Thank you for the double portion. <laughs> All right. Me, now the next presentation is going to be by Minnie and Simon. So there's going to be a song from them. Praise the Lord. We're not standing here because we sing really well. Uh, we were asked to present a song. So I was reminded of what my late mom used to often say whenever we were hesitant to sing songs. She would say, you're going to sing for the glory of God. And uh, she would always say like this, part in the varigal da artha aru mansilaki, namala part in the hridetil in the pardon bowl, ade the kaka da shabda mayalum, deva sani deal, quil in the shabda bowl, madre maria da idikim. It means when we understand the words of the song and we sing from our heart, even if we sound like a crow in the Lord's presence, it's as sweet as a nightingale. So. Song of Solomon reads thus, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. And Revelation 22 says, I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. 
Oh, praise the Lord, for we have a friend who carries our burden day after day, the one who saved us and who will come again in glory to take us with him, the morning star. In Hindi, we call it Bor Katara, the one who is the fairest of 10,000 to our soul. We have found a friend in Jesus. Mera ek mitra ishu, wo mera sab kuch hai. Lakho me wo mera ek hi priya hai. Wo sharon ka gulab hai, aur bhoor ka tara hai. Lakho me wo mera ek hi priya hai. Uske dukh se mushko shanti aur anand milta hai. उसका क्रूस मुझको चंगा करता है वो शारोन का गुलाब है और भूर का तारा है लाखों में वो मेरा एक ही प्रिय है चंगा कर दिया पाओ को मेरे स्थिर किया है जब अकेला था भटकता और सबने छोड़ दिया यीशु मेरा प्यारा मित्र बन गया उसके दुख से मुझको शांति और आनंद मिलता है उसका क्रूस मुझको चंगा करता है वो शरोन का गुलाब है और भोर का तारा है लाखों में वो मेरा एक ही प्रिय है 
अब मैं जीवन भर उसकी महिमा करूंगा हाथ उठा के उसकी स्तुति करूंगा ईशु के लिए जीऊंगा और उसमें मरूंगा ईशु एक ही मात्र मेरी आशा है उसके दुख से मुझको शांति और आनंद मिलता है उसका क्रूस मुझको चंगा करता है वो शारोन का गुलाब है और भोर का तारा है लाखों में वो मेरा एक ही प्रिय है लाखों में वो मेरा एक ही प्रिय है लाखों में वो मेरा एक ही प्रिय है Thank you for brother Simon and Minnie. Thank you for that song. Thank we and the next item being that is the next presentation is being Ravina. Next is the Ravina. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed, renewed, flowing from the grace that I found. Lord, I've come to know the weaknesses I see in me will be stripped away by the power of Your love. Hold me close. Let Your love surround. So with you, 
your spirit leads me on by the power of your love and i will soar with you your spirit leads me on by the power of your love and i will soar with you your spirit leads me on by the power of your love thank you thank you revina all right let's the next presentation is going to be by nathaniel abc of gospel may the name of lord be glorified today i am here to say the abc's of gospel a atonement the death of christ was the atonement for our sins b believe believe in the lord jesus christ and you will be saved and your house c call for whoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved d day of christ the day when christ comes to get his people e eternal life the wage of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord f faith on who places their faith in christ believes that christ has the ability and the authority to save us from the penalty of sin g grace grace of god loving love and favor with god that is not deserved we are saved by grace through faith h heaven and hell when you die you will either go to heaven or hell all who receive christ will go to heaven all who reject christ will go to hell i imputation the transfer of status from one person to another jesus took our sins and gave us his righteousness j justification to be declared free from guilt and punishment we are justified by a judge we are justified freely by his grace k kingdom when we are saved we become citizens of his coming kingdom l love of god for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for whoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life m mercy of god not giving judgment when judgment is deserved he for according to his mercy he saved us and name above all names there is no salvation in any other name for there is no other name under heaven among men by which we can be saved oh ordinances we are broken god's ordinances and deserve punishment p peace jesus christ came the means of peace between us and god the father he himself is our peace q quickened quickened is an old english word that means to be given life We were dead in sins but God made us alive in Christ. R redeemed means to be bought back. Christ redeemed us with his own soul with his own blood. S saved from sin. When you de- if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and if and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved t truth 
truth of the gospel is found in the name the of the in the name in the word of the of god <coughs> jesus prayed sanctify them with your truth your word is the truth is truth you unbelief refusing to believe the gospel the sin of unbelief will not be pardoned v victory when you believe in jesus christ you we have the victory over the grave w washed we are from the blood of jesus jesus washed us from our sins from with his own blood and has made us kings and priests x exchange what will a man give in exchange for his soul why yes for all the promises of god in him yes or and in him amen to the glory of god through us z zealous for all the purpose for god's purpose saving us was so that we could be a special people zealous for good works thank you thank you nathaniel nathaniel was an encyclopedia of theology thank you very much nathaniel is good and the next is next i next presentation is by sister lena who's going to sing a song
மகியும் மகிதாசகுளம் Thank you, Sister Lena. What a wonderful joy we will have if we see Jesus in our imaginations and by faith if we hear him, his stories through our ears and if we control our tongues, if we can muscle our tongue it, uh, according to Proverbs 13.3, we'll have long life. So the next program, the next item that is going to be presented is going to be by, let me check, uh, just... It's going to be by Kalib. Kalib is going to say a story. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to tell a story about the prodigal son. Once there was a father that had two sons. The younger son wanted to leave home. So he asked his father for a share and left a far, far country. He spent everything he had on foolish living. Then famine came to the land. With no food, he worked feeding pigs. He ate what the pigs ate. The young man was sorry he had done bad things. At least he started thinking sensibly. My father's servants have food, but here I am starving. I am going home. I'll say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Don't call me your son anymore. Make me one of your hired workers. So he set off for home, and his father saw him coming. Filled with love, he ran and hugged his son. The son said, Father, I sinned against you. Don't call me your... I shouldn't be called your son anymore. But his father forgave him and said, You are my son. The father asked, told his servants to... Bring the best clothes and shoes for him and prepare lots of food. We are going to have a party. My son was dead and now he is alive. My son was lost and now he is found. First John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is, he is faithful and righteous for to forgive us and all in unrighteousness. Our Heavenly Father is waiting to forgive us and to, um, to, to come to Him and repent for Him. May God help us live a life that pleases Him. Thank you, Khaled. And the next program, next presentation is by Jaden. He's going to play a piano and a memory verse. Psalm twenty-three, uh, Psalm thirty-seven. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither; like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good, then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. Through the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field. Though they, they, they may stumble, they will not fall. For the Lord upholds them with his hand. 
I was young, the Lord may turn the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Um, the wicked plot against the righteous and gnash the teeth at them. For the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows the day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy and to slay those ways that are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the woe to many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord opposes the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance were under forever. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. But the wicked will perish through the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field. They will be consumed. They will go up in smoke. The Lord helps them. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous get generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be destroyed. The Lord makes friend the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, or the children begging bread. They are always generously and loved freely. The children will be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, then you will dawn the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish to the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field. They will be, the righteous will inherit the land, but those he cursed will be destroyed. The mouths of the righteous are their wisdom, and their tongues speak what is this. Dust, what is, the law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous, intent on putting them to death. The Lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked, or let them be condemned and brought to trial. Hope in the Lord and keep his sight. He will exalt you and inherit the land. When the wicked are destroyed, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a luxurious native tree. But he soon passed and was no more. Though you look for them, he cannot be found. Consider the blame is observed that brave future works those who seek peace. For all sinners will be destroyed. There will be no future for the righteous. The salvation of righteous comes from the Lord. He is the stronghold in time of the tr- time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Thank you, Jaden. Jaden is going to play piano. That was a wonderful piano playing. And the next program is going to be by Danny. He's going to tell a story.
Hi everyone, how are you? I'll be telling you a story of a miracle of touch recorded in three books of the Bible. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Can anyone guess what the story is? Here comes the man. The man called out, unclean, unclean. It had been a long time since he noticed his first pale spot. When more spots appeared, he had gone to the priest. He heard some awful words. You have leprosy. He had to leave his family and home. Leprosy was an incurable disease at the time. When he got near people, he had to cry, unclean, unclean. One day the leper heard that Jesus healed people. He wondered about that. Could Jesus heal him? He did not know how to find Jesus, but he would try. He could not go near the cities. He went on mountain trails where no one else went. Finally, he found Jesus teaching people. He stood away from the crowd and watched. He saw Jesus heal people. His hope became faith. He believed Jesus could heal him, so he began to move closer to the crowd. He forgot that he was not supposed to be near people. Lep- um, when people saw him, they probably tried to stop him, but the leper did not come this far to give up. He fell down to his knees saying, Lord, I know you could heal me and make me clean if you choose to. I will, said Jesus as he touched the man. He touched me, thought the man. He looked at his arms and all the white patches have disappeared and his skin returned to normal color. Jesus told the man to go and see the priest and give him his thank offering, but not to tell anyone about what happened. The leper did as Jesus said except for one thing. He told everyone about how he got his miraculous healing. The story of Jesus and the leper is a powerful story. Here Jesus shows his compassion and love towards a socially rejected person. At the same time, the leper displays confidence in Jesus' mighty power. Like the leper, when we come to Jesus and believe that he died for our sins, he will cleanse us and give us eternal life. May God help us to live a life for his eternal glory. Thank you, Danny, for that wonderful story. And Jesus is still continuing to heal us. Even now, he is still working with us. We are still a part of clay. He's still manuring. He's still cleansing us. And he is still making us walk from glory to glory. And the next uh, presentation is going to be by Jaden. I'm sure Jaden is coming a long time. Jaden is going to be soon a worship leader. In Christ alone, my hope is found. Here is my life, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are stilled, when striving sees my comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ, I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in hell. Bless me, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied for every sin. On him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live There in the ground His body lay Light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day. Up from the grave he rose again, 
And as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me, for I am his, and he is mine. Bro, with the precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From thy first crime to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I stand. Thank you. Thank you, Jaden. That was a wonderful song. Thank you, Jaden, for that wonderful song. And the next uh, presentation is by Mark. He's going to do a violin. Mark, is a thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. And the next uh, presentation is going to be by Lena, a song number two. ശാലയില് ഭൂചാതനായി രാജാതി രാജ നിന്ന് ബേദലഹേം താഴ്വരയിൽ ആനന്ദ ധ്വനി മുഴങ്ങി തപ്പുതാളം മേളമോടെ വീണമീട്ട് ആർത്തു പാടാം ദേവാദി ദേവൻ പിറന്ന രാത്രിയിൽ ശാന്തരാത്രിയിൽ ഗോശാലയിൽ ഭൂചാതനായി രാജാതി രാജനിന്ന് പുല 
വളരെ മഞ്ഞു പോലെ പവിഴ കാന്തിയോടെ അഴകു ചാർത്തി വന്നു തെച്ച ദിവ്യ താരമേ ലോക പാപമെല്ലാം തോളിലേറ്റിടാനായി എളിമയോടെ ജാതനായ മഹിത സ്നേഹമേ പൊൻപൈതലേ വാഴ്ത്തിടുന്നിതാ ഞങ്ങൾ Thank you Leena for that wonderful song. Now next I next presentation is going to be a, for a Christmas story presentation by the students of the this assembly. Welcome to our Christmas presentation. We are sharing the special Jesus bird to tell a story of hope, salvation and love. The water woman Who loves God very much. God of Mary and Joseph to give birth to Jesus. In Bethlehem, God helped Mary and her husband Joseph find shelter in a humble stable. Little did they know that The Savior of the world will be born inside that stable. Mary, who was chosen by God, gave birth to Jesus. An angel brought the news to the shepherds of the field, saying, For unto you is born this day in the city of, in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. The shepherds, filled with joy, hurried to Bethlehem, There they found Mary, Joseph, and the newborn Jesus lying in the manger. The baby was a savior who brings salvation to all. Jesus, who was born in a simple manger, came to be a savior who would grow up and teach us about God's love and sacrifice. As Jesus grew, he shared messages of love, of compassion, forgiveness, and grace. He performed miracles and touched the lives of many. The ultimate purpose of Jesus' life became clear when he willingly went to the cross, carrying the weight of all our sins. He sacrificed himself to offer us a chance at forgiveness and eternal hope. As we celebrate Christmas, let's reflect on the profound meaning of Jesus' life. From a Savior who from the manger to the cross brings, e brings redemption and eternal hope, And, has, and he has brought joy to the world.
Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark and gang. Um, what a blessed night. Let's give everybody a hand. I want to give a vote of thanks to everyone who has participated tonight. First and foremost, we want to give all the children a great big thanks with your hands really loud. They worked really hard to make this happen. We want to thank all the parents who spent so much time getting their children prepared. You see all the mothers that were up here coaching their children. Let's give them a hand. Give yourselves a hand. I want to thank our brother Johnson, who took on the hosting responsibilities. He did a great job. Thank you, brother Johnson. I want to thank our Sunday school teachers. Uh, we have an adult class in the back that's run by Isaac Ungle and Shandan Ungle. I want to give them thanks for participating and helping with our Sunday school classes. Uh, Preston, uh, Bilsey, Minnie, Lydia, and I know Faba also helped. So please give all our teachers a hand. We want to make a special note to Lydia Samuel, who spent a lot of time putting the Christmas program together. Thank you so much, Lydia. Did a great job. Great job. We want to thank our young people, all you people in the back back there, uh, Ben, Kichu, Shalu, uh, Elena. Uh, I know I'm missing some people. They were all very involved in getting things set up, especially from the audiovisual standpoint. So God bless you all. Um, I want to thank Bilsey and Elsie, who spent a lot of time putting this program together. So God bless you all. Thank you from the assembly. Um, I want to thank uh, our oversight, who were very involved in helping and praying for this ministry. And again, we want to thank the entire assembly, who have been very, very involved, uh, and involved in this particular ministry. You know, let me tell you a quick story before I close in prayer. I want to tell you the story of a three-year-old boy who was asked to participate at a Sunday school anniversary. And they said he had to come up and sing a song. So he was frightened to death. He was so scared. So he decided to go up there and scream for five minutes. And that's exactly what he did. He went up there and screamed for five minutes. He was screaming so loud, the elder came and took his microphone away. He kept on screaming. Well, that's me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> And here I am today. You know, I am, I'm always a little bit sta have stage fright to come up. But I know exactly what Sister Minnie said. You know, if you get a chance to give thanks and praise God, don't let it go by. Get up here and sing. Get up and say a word of, a word of praise or prayer or a message. Because, you know, you don't want to be caught short when the Lord comes. So you take your opportunities. And this is the beginning. Helping these children to encouraging them to come up and be a part of this. The final person that I want to thank is our Savior, Jesus Christ. None of this would be possible if we didn't have a Savior who was willing to come to this earth and walk this earth like us. He was a child just like them. And he lived a life that allowed us to live life eternally. So let's never forget our Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray now. And as we pray, I want everyone to pray for our Sunday school ministry, our youth group ministry. This is our future. And as we invest in them, they will give us blessing through all eternity. We will remember this in all the days to come. So let's not forget how important a ministry this is. Let's pray. Our dear Lord and great God in heaven, we thank you so much for the grace that you give us to come together like this. We thank you for the blessing of an assembly. Lord, the reason we assemble is because you came to this earth and were one of us. But more than that, Lord, you lived a perfect life. And in living that perfect life, you fulfilled the standard that we could not fulfill. And then you took on a penalty that was not your penalty. You took on a burden. You took on our curse by becoming a curse. And in doing so, you have saved us through all eternity. You have not only given us mercy, you have given us grace. You've made us your fellow brothers and sisters. We can now call you our family. And that is a grace and a blessing to us. And so for that, Lord, we give you the glory and the honor. We thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you for the sacrifice that he bore. Lord, we thank you for these young ones, and we ask you to bless them. 
Help them to know that these words that they may be reciting, that they have memorized through song and through psalm and through word, are not just words, but are powerful messages to change the heart, to change the course of their lives so that they live a life that is righteous before you, a life that you will one day say, well done, good and faithful servant. Help them never to stray from this path, no matter how old they are, whether they are 2 or 20. Help them to know that the decisions that they make today affect eternity. And help them to make decisions that honor you and give you glory. We thank you for the adults, the parents, the teachers, all the older generations who stand in support of these young ones. Help them to know that the example that they set, the heritage that they have claimed, the traditions that they practice are what guide this generation to a standard that you want us to live to. We ask you to give us this grace. Now as we go to a time of fellowship, as we take part in this meal, we ask you to bless this meal, bless the hands that have prepared it. Help us to use the energy we derive from these meals to live our lives for you. Help us to fellowship in you, remembering that you are our Savior. We thank you so much for our young people. We thank you for our children. We thank you for all our families. And we ask you to bless this assembly both now and in the coming year. May our days be used wisely, for they are running short, for you are coming. And even so, Lord Jesus, come quickly. We ask this in the mighty and precious name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.